Greetings cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from the power plant maintenance room in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we were working on a recycler unit to be able to turn all the useless jazz that we're going to get out of the quarry into something more useful. And in this episode guys we are going to be working on a fully automated recycling facility as well as working with something called an auto crafting table. So sit back, relax guys, get your coke, get your popcorn. This is going to be a jam packed episode of Feed the Beast goodness and I cannot wait to get going. So why don't we start off by crafting what we need to craft today. Firstly, we need to make an auto crafting table. Now an auto crafting table is exactly, uh, does exactly what it says on the tin and automatically crafts stuff for you. All you got to do is input a recipe and then the crafting table will automatically craft that recipe for you. So it's really awesome and I cannot wait to show you guys how that works. That's in the inventory now. Next up, we need to make a dispenser. Now, why are we making a dispenser? Well, guys, um, it's actually really awesome. Um, in the previous episode, I mentioned that we were going to be turning scrap into scrap boxes. And then by opening scrap boxes, we were going to get a random item in Minecraft, anything from a diamond to a piece of iron. Well, a dispenser is the machine that we use to open that scrap box. Next up on the list of things to make is an obsidian transport pipe. Now, what the jazz are we doing with an obsidian transport pipe? Well, an obsidian transport pipe is a really sweet ass transport pipe. Basically, it is a pipe that automatically sucks in any units that are around it. So for example, if there's a piece of cobblestone laying next to the obsidian transport pipe, it's gonna suck that bit of cobblestone into the transport pipe and into the network to which the obsidian transport pipe is connected. And that, of course, is going to come in handy when we are spitting out items out of the dispenser. The obsidian transport pipe is going to collect the items that the dispenser spits out. So that is going to be really awesome. Lastly, but not leastly on our list of crafts today is a diamond transport pipe. Now, what are diamond transport pipes good for? Um, well, a lot. <laughs> you are able to use diamond transport pipes to redirect materials in a piping network. And uh, we are going to be using our diamond transport pipes to redirect cobblestone, dirt and gravel from our quarry into our recycling facility. Now guys, before we get started on constructing the uh, recycling facility, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Number one, one of you guys mentioned uh, or asked me the question, why the jazz are you putting the recycling facility in this far corner over here where you're going to have to build a ridiculously long glass fiber cable to get there and waste a bunch of glass fiber cables? And I was like, you know what, man, that is totally true. So what I've done is I've moved the recycling facility slightly closer to the MFE battery. And that means we have been able to save on our glass fiber cables. What that has meant is that I have been able to give the quarry its own MFE and own Squidward. As you can see, that MFE has its own Squidward now. And the recycling facility will have its own MFE and Squidward. So we are maximizing, optimizing our power usage in the cyber labs right now. And it feels damn good, man. And uh, this is where our recycling facility is going to sit, guys. In the previous episode, we made a really primitive recycling facility. And uh, in this episode, we're going to take that recycling facility to the next level. Basically, what we're going to be doing is telling this pipe to send cobblestone, stone, dirt and gravel into the recycling facility. Before all of that jazz gets to the recycling facility, there is going to be an auto crafting table that is going to turn cobblestone into cobblestone slabs because cobblestone slabs are um, actually recycle more optimally than cobblestone itself. Then once that scrap is made in the recycling units, the scrap is going to be turned into scrap boxes by our auto crafting tables. And then the dispenser is going to open those uh, scrap boxes and those um, what the items that come out of the scrap boxes are going to be collected by our obsidian pipes. So man, guys, it is going to be one epic, epic recycling facility. I think this is by far the most complicated, uh, most involved build that we have done yet in this Feed the Beast series. And I literally cannot wait to get this finished, guys. Honestly, it's um, I've been thinking about it all day. I've been thinking about it all night. I, I've been losing sleep over this thing, man. I want to get it finished. I want to see it fired up. I want to see it working. So what we've done here, guys, is install LV transformers because remember, our recycling, our recyclers need a low voltage 
energy to work or they will explode so you know really basic stuff so far what we need to do now is make sure that all the scrap that our recyclers are creating gets sucked out of the recyclers so that's going to be done uh, we know how to do this guys wooden transport pipes um, re uh, redstone engines and Bob's your uncle the scrap is going to get sucked out of the recyclers now where is the scrap going to go well, that is the interesting question. Uh, it's going to go via a golden pipe into an auto crafting table. And uh, this is where it gets really interesting, guys. So let's get a couple of um, our uh, marble blocks down here just to create some realistic pedestals for our auto crafting tables and let us install our auto crafting tables. Now, what's awesome about an auto crafting table is that it actually doesn't require power to work. All it requires is something within um, its its space <laughs> to run and basically what you're putting in here is the recipe uh, required um, to be automatically crafted in this case we are going to be auto automatically making scrap boxes so what we're gonna need for that I just want to check if um, I have okay I wanted to see if I had any cobblestone in the project table um, for us to use what I want to do guys is get a whole bunch of cobblestone let's pick up a whole butt ton of cobblestone head back into the project uh, into the machine room and make some cobblestone slabs because um, this is according to one of you guys you told me about this in the comment section below that cobblestone slabs are actually really good for recycling because um, you obviously get way more materials uh, way more material blocks if you make cobblestone slabs out of cobblestone than just using stacks of cobblestone so that was a really awesome uh, hint that one of you guys gave me and what I want to do is actually just fire up some of these recyclers right now um, let's get this recycler going we can actually just store up the scrap in here um, he's connected up to the energy network so he's going to be running and so is he and uh, these recyclers are just literally going to make some scrap for us I think there's a, I mean, there's a percentage chance to create scrap, I think. So um, it looks like we haven't made any yet. <laughs> um, hmm. Come on, make us some scrap. Right, maybe it does need to get sucked out. Uh, maybe it works better if it gets sucked out. Well, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, guys, is just get all of our recyclers fired up. Basically, what we're after is nine times five pieces of scrap so that we can set our recipes in each of our auto crafting tables and uh, what we'll do is just turn these engines off and let these bits of scrap create themselves within the recyclers and uh, once that is done we will then be able to collect them for ourselves or well, I mean maybe what we need to do is actually just turn on the redstone engines and uh, allow the recyclers to to basically spit out bits of scrap at us guys i'm gonna um, just let these these recyclers do their business and once we have 45 pieces of scrap i'm gonna bring you guys back and uh, we will continue working on the automated recycling facility i'll see you on the other side of this kaplam guys kaplam all right guys we are back at the recycling facility and as you can see i have now have 40 pieces of scrap in hand we should be able to get our 45 pieces of scrap really quickly um, I've also added a light source up here guys because it was getting quite dark around here but we now have enough scrap to actually set up our auto crafting tables I'm gonna start with this one and have a look guys basically what we're saying is we want the items going into the auto crafting table to make a scrap box using this uh, recipe so now what's gonna happen is this recycler is gonna send its scrap into the um, the auto crafting table and uh, let's have a look and basically what it'll do it, it, it will add another piece of scrap to each of these blocks and as soon as there are another nine pieces of scrap it will produce for us a scrap box and of course the next step will, will then be to suck out that scrap box from the auto crafting table into the dispenser to open it so let's get the rest of our auto crafting tables installed using uh, the scrap recipes so that's one more let's just knock them all out and uh, man this is so awesome this recycling facility is so sweet because it has like multiple levels uh, you know it, it has like uh, multiple requirements of, for us to build before it's actually working at its optimal level looks like we just ran out of <laughs> um, out of scrap which is unfortunate we'll just recycle the last of our cobblestone here to finish it off um, there we go so these auto crafting tables uh, are now going to start making scrap boxes as soon as they have a full nine pieces of scrap available and uh, there you can see one has already been added but we're going to steal that one and um, we're going to steal 
a few more. There we go. There's another one. And we just need one more, it seems. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so all of our automatic crafting tables are now going to be uh, crafting scrap boxes, which is so awesome. Right, next step, guys. What's next in the auto recycling facility? That is, of course, removing the scrap boxes from the auto crafting tables. And again, all we're doing is using redstone engines and wooden transport pipes, just like so. Um, to get the scrap boxes out of the auto crafting tables. Let's get a couple of gold pipes up in this business. Oops, nope. That ain't, that ain't right. Just like that. Now, what we need to do is ensure that um, where these pipes uh, connect, that the scrap is only going to go to a single location. So for that, we need iron transport pipes, guys, because remember what iron transport pipes do is allow you to direct the materials in your piping network in the way that you want um, them to go. So there are our iron tra transport pipes. I mean, all we want now is for our scrap boxes coming out of our auto crafting tables to go straight into a dispenser. So it's we don't actually need um, the, the iron pipe on the, on the end pipes. We need them on the middle. So let's get them installed like this. And uh, you guys will see what I mean now. Let's get it all hooked up nicely. So scrap coming out of these auto crafting tables need to follow a certain direction and that direction is going to be they need to all come into this pipe over here right so let's get our wrench um, out and let's just make sure that everything is being sent in the right direction and uh, that is oh goodness we can't actually see anything because of this this beam up here let's just get rid of that and then jump up here to have a look okay that's much better so now the item is going to come out here they can't go this way they have to go this way um, the same is going to apply for this. Items are going to come out of this one. They can't go anywhere but this way. And uh, exactly the same thing is going to happen for that one. So our iron transport pipes are now installed. Most excellent. Now we get to do the really fun part. And that is installing our dispenser. Now, uh, <laughs> this is... This is going to be awesome man so basically what we need to do is find a way to automatically trigger our dispenser but for now what we're going to do is just trigger it with a lever um, once we get this this recycling facility uh, off the ground but I, the scrap boxes are now going to come from the auto crafting tables into the dispenser right now the dispenser is going to spit out the items and this is where our obsidian transport pipe comes into play the obsidian transport pipe is going to sit there and literally pick up the items that the, the dispenser uh, spits out. And uh, man, there sounds like there is a, a, a villager up there open and opening and closing the doors of the cyber labs, driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, let's get the chest installed. Um, now, <laughs> this is so cool, right? So let's, let's start from the top, right? So the piping network is gonna send items that we want to recycle into the recyclers. The wooden transport pipes are gonna, are gonna send the scrap that the recyclers make into the auto crafting tables. The auto crafting tables are gonna turn the scrap into scrap boxes, which are gonna make their way into the dispenser. The dispenser is going to open the scrap boxes. The obsidian pipe is gonna pick up um, the items that the dispenser spits out, and we're gonna collect it all in this chest. So that is the basic design of our research uh, recycling facility. And I gotta say, man, that is looking freaking sweet. Now, before we move on to the next step, I wanna, I wanna find out who is opening and closing my doors, man. Is it you? Stop it, butthole. You are annoying me. <laughs> Just give him, a, give, give him a spank, man. He, he won't do it again. <laughs> right, let's get back to our recycling facility. So the next step, guys, is to make sure that only items that we want to recycle go into our recycling plant or we might lose precious items like ores and stuff that will get recycled. So the way that we're going to do that, guys, is by using diamond transport pipes that we made earlier. So check it out. We're going to install our diamond transport pipe right here in the, um, the, ma the major network line of our transport network. And what we're going to do is install a couple of gold pipes going in this direction. Now, what we need to do is get a piece of uh, gravel a piece of dirt, um, a piece of cobblestone, and a piece of stone to tell that diamond pipe that these are the items that we want it to be sending into the recycling plant. So we've got dirt, we've got gravel, we've got cobblestone, and we've got stone. Um, let's get back down into back down to the recycling facility, and you guys will see exactly what I'm babbling on about. Uh, right now. So check it out. We're going to open our diamond pipe. Now, you can see these colors, right? Green, 
yellow and red. So what we're telling the diamond pipe is that in the red pipe, we only want dirt, gravel, cobblestone, and stone. So any of those items traveling in this direction, when they hit this diamond pipe, the diamond pipe is gonna check what item they are, and it's gonna send them down the red pipe in this direction. Now, what we wanna do before we even start recycling um, the goods is we want to turn any cobblestone uh, into cobblestone slabs. And the reason we wanna do that is because cobblestone slabs recycle better than other uh, than just cobblestone itself. So um, that is what we, that, uh, that is what we're going to do now is just set up a very small auto crafting facility right here. So what we need to do, of course, is create another diamond uh, pipe over here, right? Oops. So we've got another diamond pipe over here. Now, this diamond pipe is going gonna, is gonna to uh, swap out the cobblestone from the rest of the materials so let's open this diamond pipe and again this is going to be red going this way so all we want to come out of the red pipe is cobblestone so let's get the cobblestone up in there so now only cobblestone is going to go this way dirt stone and gravel is going to go this way so we can now uh, connect this sorting pipe to our actual recycling network which is going to look a little something like that and uh, what we can do now is actually connect up all of um, all of the recyclers so you can see that the pipes are going into the top of the recyclers um, so th these pipes are going to be delivering these the items into the top of the recyclers of course what we need to do is also make an infinite loop remember guys if the if the recyclers are full the items need to be able to go somewhere so we're going to create an infinite loop for them um, using an iron transport pipe because we don't want any of the items coming back from the loop so the iron transport pipe is going to sit like that and we're going to finish off the loop like this and we're going to finish it off with one more iron transport pipe just to ensure where is the iron transport pipe just to ensure that the items stay in the in the loop and they don't go back into the transport network so this diamond uh <laughs> this diamond pipe is now only sending cobblestone in this direction so all we got to do is now install our uh, auto crafting table over here right and then once again what we need to do is install our redstone engine sucking device um, that's what it's officially known as just like this um, where is our, our wooden transport pipe is over here and now what we can do is connect this up to the this side of the network so cobblestone is going to go into this auto uh, auto crafting table it's going to get turned into cobblestone slabs and then sent back into the network and uh, it's going to join the loop over here and slowly fill the recycler the recyclers so that is uh, i hope that made sense guys <laughs> a little bit of a complicated one but uh this is the build that we're going with and uh basically what's going to happen is dirt cobblestone uh gravel and stone are going to come in this direction cobblestone is going to go into the auto crafting table the rest of it is going to hit uh the the infinite loop and slowly but surely fill up the recyclers who are going to do their business and create scrap for us and uh those are going to turn into scrap boxes and it is going to be sweet so guys <laughs> let us get a little bit more cobblestone though so that we can tell that auto crafting table exactly what it's supposed to be doing and lastly but not leastly what we need to do is get a couple of levers just while we're here where are my levers man, the, man my, the, my chests are such a mess these days man seriously i don't even know where all my levers are just gonna have to make some new ones um, and the levers are uh, the lever is going to be there of course to activate our dispenser to see if our system actually works at the end of the day man um what the heck there we go lever all right so we've got our lever we've got our cobblestone let's go and tell this final auto crafting table over here that it is to make cobblestone slabbage so you need to make cobblestone slabbage out of the cobblestone that is going to be heading in your direction and uh, that cobblestone slabbage will get sucked out of here and sent into the recycling facility so there's only one thing left to do now guys and that is actually turn on the freaking quarry and watch this bad boy in action um, I, I am so excited. I, I can't even explain myself. I, I am just, I'm buzzing, man. Uh, I think what I want to do is just add one more of these inverted white lights over here, uh, just so that we can get a nice light source over here. Okay, that's looking good. All right, sweet, guys. Let's fix up the, the beam that we broke over here. OCD is kicking in. 
I'm not going to turn on this uh, recycling facility if it's looking horrible around the cyber labs. Uh, that is just how we roll up in here, man. And I think I think we're going to fix this too. Just get everything looking great. Oh god, we ran out of slabbage too. Can make some slabbage. Right, so that beam is now finished off again. Okay, fantastic. So we are ready to go, guys. With a flick of this switch, we are going to see if our recycling facility actually works. And uh, at the end of the day, we should be getting random items in that chest. So let's let's have a quick squiz, guys. Let's get this puppy fired up on all cylinders. Let's check that our MFEs are uh, have enough power to do this. This MFE isn't even being drained yet. And uh, let's have a look in our window. Our quarry should be quarrifying. Can we see the laser beam pew pewing somewhere? Daddy, you better get out of there, man. You're going to get sucked into the freaking quarry if you are not careful. All right, so let's have a look. The items should be coming soon. What the heck is this quarry doing, man? Check at that. Okay, it's coming to start. Wow, who knows what this thing is doing, man. It is. It looks like it's configuring itself. Um, <laughs> quarry, do your business. Very weird. Hmm. All right, there we go. Okay, so it just had to... I don't know what it was doing there, man. It was just reconfiguring itself, it looks like it. But there go the items. Oh my goodness, look at them streaming into the Cyber Labs. You can see the cobblestone going straight into here. The auto crafting uh, table is making it, the cobblestone slabs. The, the the rest of the materials, you can see that was some ore that is going into the storage rooms. And slowly but surely, you can already see the recyclers are working. That recycler is turned on. This one, not yet. Um, this recycler still needs some stuff. This recycler isn't on yet. This recycler just got some cobblestone. And uh, it looks like it is working absolutely beautifully, man. Look at this. Our cobblestone is getting turned into slabbage, which is just just amazing. And uh, slowly but surely, our, our items are filling up. It looks like... I mean, if we didn't do this, can you imagine the amount of items we'd be getting in our warehouse right now? It would just be absolutely silly. Um, so what we've got to do now, guys, is just watch this. There goes some marble. And um, all we're hoping for now is for one, one scrap box to be made. It looks like this auto crafting table is four scrap pieces away from actually, or five, four scrap pieces now away from making a scrap box. And that means we're going to get our first scrap box in our dispenser. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Um, I just want to come back and watch it over here, man. This is so sweet. Check it out. Bam, bam, bam. And there the slabbage gets made. Uh, this auto crafting table, wow, that is filling up really quickly, though. The auto crafting table isn't actually <laughs> creating cobblestone slabs fast enough. Maybe what we'll need to do is add another auto crafting table into this um, system over here. Or we might need to do is upgrade the engine from a redstone engine into, a, uh, into an electrical engine. Um, that that could work actually because that's going to suck out the cobblestone slabs much quicker out of the um, um, Out of that auto crafting table. I want to check if I have an electrical engine Yes, I do have an electrical engine and we've got one glass fiber cable I mean if if my memory serves me correctly now I think that the glass fiber cabling actually sits right next to uh, That where that redstone engine sits. Let's have a look. No, okay. It's actually too far away Oh man, that is a bummer. I wanted to connect up our, elect uh, uh, our electrical engine. Oh, look at this, man. We are literally like... We are literally one, two... We need three glass fiber cables to do that. That is... Oh God, that is so annoying. I mean, what we could do... Let's have a look here. This MFE isn't even being drained, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal a couple glass fiber cables from, uh, from this MFE. This MFE can actually last a, a hell of a long time. Look at that, man. The, this recycling facility is not going to overuse that MFE. So let's in install an electrical engine over here so that we can suck out the slabbage much quicker uh, and optimize this recycler, recycler even further. Now, this electrical engine should be doing the business, should be sucking out these things much quicker than... Um, yeah, look at that, man. Look at it. It is going crazy. Nice. Okay, excellent. So... All in all, um, the loop, now we can actually see items going around the infinite loop. And that tells me that the recyclers are completely full. And that means the recycling plant is running at full optimal levels over here, guys. Look at this. The auto crafting tables are filling up. We should see our first, very first scrap box come out of here. 
Although what we haven't done yet is um, is power up these redstone engines. So <laughs> that that would help. That would certainly help. Um, let's just get some power into these redstone engines. Man, in, in all the excitement, I forgot to power up the redstone engines, man. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, there come the scrap boxes. Look at that. There they go. Now they're going to go into the dispense. Okay, no, not yet. The, uh, this, this iron pipe needs to uh, be configured properly. And oh, they're all over there. In, oh my goodness. Well, it couldn't have gone... 100% smoothly in the first go, right? It never does. So let's let's just dig our way into the recycling plant to collect those scrap boxes. But I've now reconfigured that iron transport pipe at the end here of the recycling facility. So we should be seeing the next batch of scrap boxes actually going into the right place. There are a couple more scrap boxes here, actually. Let's pick those up. Four scrap boxes in total, but I just want to make 100% sure that our scrap boxes are now making their way into the dispenser i'm gonna get these scrap boxes in here All right there he comes there comes one bam into the dispenser okay perfect that is all working beautifully now so now it is the last part of the test guys um to see if this actually works the way that we want it to we need to um, turn on this dispenser using this lever and we should see a random minecraft item pop out of the dispenser for each of the scrap boxes so let's do it guys Kaplam! Oh, nice. That looked like some scrap. Some more scrap. Some more scrap. Some more scrap. And some more scrap. Well, <laughs> that, um, that, that's not entirely... I'm not sure that is exactly what is, is supposed to happen. I'm not sure we're supposed to just get scrap out of this thing, man. Um, that's kind of interesting. Hmm... Right, we got one. We got one more scrap box in here. Let's check. Oh, there we go. Random item just came out of there. A piece of rotten flesh. <laughs> okay. So, guys, what we're going to have to do in the next episode is uh, set up another automatic. Um, I mean, basically, what it, this chest is, shouldn't be here, right? This pipe should just connect back into the uh, into the the delivery pipe network to go into the warehouse. But what we want to do is send any scrap that gets made back into the auto crafting tables and any dirt, cobblestone, stone or gravel back into the network uh, of the recycling unit. Because of course, these uh, this dispenser might be able to make any of those items and obviously we don't want those heading to the warehouse. We want to get them recycled once again into the recycling facility. So they will be recycled basically a second time. And uh, let's just come and have a look at the infinite loop here. It is absolutely jam-packed with cobblestone slabs and that is great news, man. Look how much uh, recycling is being done right now. Whew, damn, guys, what a crazy ass episode. I am so proud of this build. I think it's really neat. I think it's really beautiful, really clean. Makes a hell of a lot of sense. And uh, all we got to do now is automate this dispenser, set up some loops um, at the end of it, and uh, just generally, you know, let this thing run. And we can literally let our quarry do its business now because. Um, we are filtering out all of the unwanted materials and our warehouse isn't going to fill up with ridiculous amounts of loot. So the quarry is doing its business. Happy days. The recycling facility is recycling and all is well in the cyber labs. Guys, I hope you have freaking enjoyed this episode as much as I have enjoyed making it. It has been freaking sweet, man. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next episode, man. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Feed the Beast. We'll see you in the next one, my friends. Goodbye.